That looks really cool. They that got, is incredible. Yeah, they got Harley Davidson on it. That is cool. And the awning is arched. Look at Can that. you zoom in on that sucker? Yeah. Look at that. What is that? Some kind of um, just metal panel? Yeah, like, well, I don't know what it is, like plastic, but it's uh, arched, isn't it? Neat. Look at there, there's a Harley Davidson. And the door red, burgundy. That's cool. Flowers outside, trees, and it's real simple. Very simple. Very Love pretty. It. Man. Well, there you go, everybody. There's an Incredibox right yeah, there. Yeah, right here on the beach. Painted black, sitting mm -hmm. on the beach, and as you can see, totally took on a total different look mm -hmm. just with paint. Yeah, exactly. All right, we got one in store for you. We're on the beach today, and you guys are probably thinking, if you're just tuned in, you don't know who we are. We're, we are, what are we? We are the world. <laughs> we are the children. So we are on the beach, and everybody's like, oh my God, this does not look like a beach, Randy Jones. I not said, yet, it don't. I 100% agree, but. Oh, there's that one too. Oh, yeah, That's an incredible that. box. And I think there's another one over here. But this is soon to have, we're hoping, having some palm trees in here. Yep. And some really tropical looking. Now look at this dirt behind here. That's going to separate the grove. And we're going to put more dirt and topsoil and decorate all that up. Oh so my gosh. These people have a little privacy. Then we're going to put trees on top of that thing. Can we go left and, and just show the well, grove just left, a little Amanda. bit? Let's go left. Let's go left. Oh, look at the new road. Left it is. Yep, so the new road, we're going to take this road and put it over here, and the grove is going to come out in now, here a little on, bit. Now, hold on, say that slower. You're going to take this, now say it again so they can see it. They didn't see your fingers where it went. I'm going to take this road and put it over there, and then where the grove will come out in this road a little bit. Okay. Yep. Yep. And we'll have trees and shrubs and just some whole different look we're going to bring on. And then. As you can see, this is kind of a dirt barrier that we're making. It's going to look prettier. We're going to dress it all up, have grass on it. I like to put some trees on the top and that these people in between the grove and all that, the grove is going to have trees and shrubs and just stuff, landscaping. And we're going to, it's going to take a few years for this to mature. But, you know, having about 70 homes on this lot right here is packed in here. I know that. They know that. But I think the way we're going to make this thing happen, I think it's going to look really cute. I think it mm -hmm. already looks cute. This all is going to look really nice. And from all the other areas that we have, the, yep. uh, the forest and the, the prairie, the beach is the one that's uh, lacking probably the most. Yeah. But it's coming on. And the beach, I had to get some palm trees. So yeah. We're going to try them. We don't know. We're going to try some sable palms. They said they're good till about five below zero. Mm-hmm. So hopefully they'll last in here and we'll put okay. them on. Hey, if they won't, I'm going to put a roof over the beach. Yeah, there you go. A dome It'll all over like the beach. It'll be like Epcot. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm thinking about putting wire all over the metal building. Yeah. And we're going to have planters and I'm going to grow green all over the side of that building. And we mm -hmm. got the, you know, the trees will grow up, the evergreens will grow up. Yeah. And the green. It just takes several years. This is going to look really nice one day. Um, I'll probably put solar panels all over the top of that building. That'd be great. So we'll be independent. You know, one thing I wish they would do, I wish they would make the, uh, the solar panels decorative. Make them prettier looking. Like pink or something? Well, I mean, like, yeah, different colors and different shapes and stuff like that. Maybe they'll get to that. But look at that. The beach looks nice because it's so colorful. Yeah. All the houses and yeah. stuff. So that's something that's really cool about it. You know what's cool what about people it. say when they come here and say, oh my God, all the different colors, you know? Is what people There's like Jan. the way it looks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks really oh, pretty. Okay. Right, so we got a surprise in store for you. We're gonna show one of our models that just got done. Um, it is the only model that has wood siding. No LP on it. It's called the Abington. Now it's a little bit different than our than our uh, regular models that we'll have. I'll point that out to you. I like this one here. She got it. her and Mike touch. Mm -hmm. Look, Mike's got the whole beach. I know, and look at on. Cindy's place too. We've got to get with Cindy oh, yeah. and make an appointment. I want to. I want everybody wants to tour her house too. Mike's, we've done a great beach theme, and then we've got. Um, her house, look at the poo house. I've not seen the sign ah, of it. Isn't that, that cute? And I'm gonna make an appointment and do um, so we can tour those that, that one as well. Cool. 
Yeah. Look at the Abbey. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. Wow. Look at that. Now, now, does that not look like a cottage? Wow. That's our model, everybody. That's an Abingdon. Now, it is not 100% specific. That is not exactly it, right? Yeah, so we don't do the brick, mm -hmm. right? We don't do the window up in the gable above the door. Yeah. It just be a solid piece up there. We don't put the air conditioner in the wall like that. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a 10-foot porch on the back like right. that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So this was... This was before our models, but she liked the Abingdon, and so we added a little bit of custom stuff to it. But it, in general, it looks just like this. The live edge on the bottom. It's Morning, got the Mike. stucco on the top above it. And it's got a couple different ways I'm going to do the stucco itself, but it still has the, the corbel um, supports for yeah. the overhangs. The live edge fascia. Yeah, all that. And Zach did this off property, one of the partnerships. Yeah, he sure did. Yep. And they'll probably remember when we went up there to visit them, uh, they had the goats and and uh, all the dogs and everything. Yeah, he's our only really Tennessee subcontractor. Mm -hmm. Subcontractor, now. yeah. So this is our live edge. I love the live edge. Of course, this is what it is. It's, it's got the bark still on it. Mm -hmm. And I designed this to look like a cottage. I love working with wood. I would still build all our houses with wood siding. It's just because mm -hmm. we've had such a warranty issue yeah. with it splitting and cracking. And um, most of our customers are ladies and mm -hmm. they just don't want to do a maintenance on their house. Right. So we switched to 100% LP siding, mm -hmm. except for this right here. Super but cute. I, guys love working Very with wood. Very storybook That's, that's our looking. preference, you know. Now, on the stucco end of it, I'm a stucco guy. I love being creative with the stucco. This is what she picked out. It looks really nice. I love the way, you know, it, it's got a little bit of a texture to it. Um, it gives her a blank slate to add pops of color and greenery sure and things can. like that. Yep. So. I kind of was going to want to put some straw in it and break it up and mm -hmm. make it a little bit more rustic. I don't know if we'll do that or not, but man, it looks... Oh, it I love looks the great. stucco mix with the wood. Yeah. And you can paint the stucco, but we what we do is we have the one solid color that you always have. It's no problem painting that if you'd like to. Stucco could come in different colors, mm -hmm. but because this is a model home and we can't have 35,000 different colors, you know, yeah, we do stucco exactly. with, we do it one generic color. Oh, I'm so, just real quick, I know we're gonna show the Abington, but I so look, look at Mike peeking out. Uh, I love his fence. Look at that. That is really cool looking. I mean, he has embraced the, that's why they call him the mayor of Malibu. He's really embraced um the island theme the beach theme right yeah and he's uh using your weed eater yeah we've got one for the forest one for the beach and one for the prairie let's see he's even pruning the trees look at him i mean he's so florida like how's that weed eater buddy that is awesome look at his place since we've been here last I love that. Wow. Look at that fencing. Oh my gosh. Where'd you get the fencing at? From uh, Big Lots. Big Lots. Big Lots. Really? Come on. Uh, I had to go to Sevierville because uh, Morristown didn't have any. Really? Right. I love it. You all right? Yeah. Good. Oh my gosh. This looks great. It's just on this one lot, a little oasis. And this is what... Tiki yeah. bar I build over my Yes. Computer. Tiki bar. And that hides the tongue box. Wow. I mean the uh, the tongue. And then I got removable pieces on the bottom there. I can yes. Oh you got for storage, yeah. yeah. Perfect. My oh my gosh, got his little garden. What are you gonna do for your uh, skirting? What do you have in mind? Um Al, I would think, try to do it. Did you see what Al did? Yeah, what did he use to make it so it's, smooth? Uh, some kind of a um, styrofoam. Oh really? Like, he says it's almost like an inch thick. Oh. Really sturdy. Painted, okay. Painted well. You know. Okay. It's really cheap. Yeah, I looked so at it. It was it, nice, it, and he it, just painted it. Yeah, he says if rain doesn't mind, I'm gonna stick with it. Got it. Cause I got them, you know, just yeah, foam yeah, panels. Yeah. distance, you can't tell. No. I went there with um, Mark. We drove by there. So, wow, this is really nice. I know it. It looked really nice yeah. and smooth. Yeah. And then he put the what did he? I think mulch and gravel or something up the bottom made it look perfect. And uh, so thick, he just screwed the the corners together. Now we got that inch and or two inch foam. 
we have that we delaminate. Yeah. We got a lot of that. You could try it on that. Yeah. Hundred dollars for his. I think he said. Ain't that song good? Now a lot of people are using these triangle. Like, is that what type type of material is it? Kind of a canvas. They got it is it kind of like a tarp, blue isn't blue it? Blue yeah. Man, they painted your the floor. Do you see? No. He painted the concrete like you That's wanted great. to. That's great. Like sand. Oh my. But these are great. You just keep them real tight so it doesn't like collect water and stuff, and it. Yeah. You know, if everybody did what you're doing, this place would look more like oh, a beach. Oh, it would. Oh, my gosh. Look at his. You know what? <laughs> look at his. I mean, face. I know I got to put some palm trees in here. But I love it. Wow. It looks. Look at his that's, shark. That's the bench you bought for us. That, um, yes, it's beautiful. He was going to order a plaque for Lori Beth. Who, who painted it? It yeah, looks. Uh, Cindy put the decals. That's cool. Decals. That looks so great. We'll put it on the Laguna one of these days. It looks, oh my God, it belongs here for you heaven's see Mike's sakes. From, he's from Michigan. Yeah. Like I am. I party here Labor Day and we used that proceeding. And Absolutely. That kept the rain away. Yeah. Like that. Plenty of right room. Away. So we dreamed about beaches when we're living in Michigan and all. Mm -hmm. It's like in the winter, you're like, oh. Too far to go to Lake Michigan. Put me to Florida or Hawaii or well, something. You were to, no, you weren't that close. You had to go. We were to Lake Erie, but just froze. Right, because you had to go either down to Ohio or. I like mean, do you Detroit. do you feel the same way? Like it was gray and and just a how, how was it growing up with you with weather? Thinking, did you yeah, I, crave the ocean and sunshine? Well, I always loved the water. Yeah. yeah. We lived near lakes. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. Lakes, lakes, there's a chain of lakes, like five or six, they're all connected together. Yeah. We went to the kids' there's a beach club and we would go through the summertime. Oh my! Is that Lake Whitaker, Whitaker Lake, or Whitmore Lake? Portage Lake. Portage Lake. Yeah, north of. Uh, North of, uh, north of Whitmore. Okay. Yeah. Was there a lake called Whitmore yeah. or something? Yeah, Whitmore Lake. Yeah, my Whitmore buddy lake. had, his, his family had a cottage on there. I, cottage, I was like, yeah. my God, we, we, didn't, we didn't even come close to a cottage. Oh, no. We went there and I'm like, you guys are rich. Oh my God, and the yeah. lake was huge. They had yeah, a boat, they're skiing, and I'm like, yeah, we didn't do the that as a kid. lakes are amazing. I mean, I'm so impressed with the lakes up there. They look like oceans. It's the prettiest water. Yeah. Whitmore Lake's only like two miles, uh, the city of, Whitmore Lake is only like two miles long. Yeah, and that's a man-made lake, isn't it? Whitmore? Um, I don't know about Whitmore. I think, but you you seen Lake Michigan, Lake Erie. Oh my God, it's oh. so beautiful. And what where is it? Uh, what is Mackinac? Mm -hmm. What 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 water is that? That's Huron. Huron. Okay. Yeah, because you got the bridge. The bridge separates uh, Lake yes. Michigan from Lake Huron. Yeah. Gorgeous. If you've never been to Mackinac Island or around there or see the yeah. Mackinac Bridge, my God, it's pretty. Yeah. And then, uh, I loved it. <sighs> On Traverse City, uh, what's that lake? Uh, Char uh, lake Charlevoix. That's no, a beautiful lake. Really? Yeah. yeah. This one was clear as a bell. I mean, it was so clear, and it was cold. I went in May. Yeah. I went in May, and it was Ugh. cold. Lord, I layered up. It was yeah. cold there. Yeah. People are just putting their docks in in May. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it right. Was cold. It's well, a lucky. Well, Mackinac Island had just opened up. I mean, they stayed from October into, yeah. like, April or May. They're... They're closed down, frozen God. up, and you don't go yeah, there. Yeah, because you only get there by ferry, so you can... Yes, or airplane, and the airplanes don't run, and if it's too, the weather's not good, so supplies, you know, only comes when it's good weather. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I love well, it. We're on the beach. We don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Look, see how he put pallets up there on his dormer. I've seen that. It looks so great. You know, and what I like about these is when you do that, anything you put on the outside like this, the foam is waterproof on mm -hmm. the inside of this, and then it's metal mm -hmm. on the outside. Yeah. You can do anything you want on the outside of these houses. Oh, absolutely. So any kind of rustic wood or trim. Well, the one house was a um, ESP, and it was covered with wood, right? Yeah. A few weeks ago. Or... Exactly. Ah. Yeah, and we I talked to a lady yesterday. She's can I put vinyl siding on the outside? Well, Cardi did. You know, oh, he yeah. put vinyl siding yeah. on, his, put it on his, and I said, yeah, there. just make sure you use a long enough screws because it can oh, breathe and move, you know. Yeah. But you can put vinyl on the whole thing. Yeah. Wood, he, vinyl. He put that up in no time. Yeah. Because Brian's pretty handy. And you don't have to worry about hitting pipes, electric. Yeah. yeah. Nothing. Well, and you are a, I mean, this is essentially a Incredibox, box, but it's a, what size is it? Eight by 24? Yeah. Eight by 24. Yeah. 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 That's great. It, lo it looks awesome. 
gosh. Well, good deal. Well, we didn't mean well, we to got distracted here. Uh, yeah, I didn't oh want gosh. to keep running. Yeah, Mike, quit distracting us. Aww. Gee whiz, we got I things could have to ran do. The weed back while you were talking. I mean, you were sticking out like a sore thumb. Golly, <laughs> I was here first. <laughs> he ran out here. I was here first. <laughs> what? There we go. I'm gonna step on your plants. How's the weed eater working? Well, thank you, sir. Great. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Look at that. And this is a loner. We just, well, we just kind of gave, gave it to the to community. Each. It's like having my own because yeah. I'm the only one who uses it. <laughs> yeah, I'm using it. Else he said that it. on the DL. Okay, on the down low. This homeowner and that owner need to come out here you and might, You might bit. as well put your name on it. Is what you are do, Mike. I'm giving a little bit of leeway. And then, my neighbors and that's it. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to give a little bit of leeway for a year or so. And well, I'm definitely going to get with Cindy because I know they Cindy weed works and everything ready to like that. So I want to make their lots look a little better. Okay, well, I'm going to let Randy go ahead and talk. No, you go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. How's this looking? Yeah. Oh, it looks great over there, don't it? Good deal. Well, thank you, Mike. Okay. Looks great. Yeah, man, it looks awesome. He's even weeding, weed eating outside his boundaries. <laughs> Watch, we'll get him in action. Oh. Okay. Oh! Man, that's a mean one, Manda. Look at that. That's, I that's mean, perfect. we got three of them. You don't have to worry about gas, oil, nothing. It's electric. Plug it up. And we got them extra wire and everything. That's cool. So. Pretty nice. All you have to do is just come outside. Yeah. And oh. it looks like through there, it looks like another Incredibox. Where, where? You know, we need to do something oh, yeah, like, um, coming. you know, when an angel gains its wings, we need to do that kind of thing with another Incredibox was born. Well, you know, when I we was in, do something. I went to Hawaii years mm -hmm. ago, right? And I thought I would lay down my hammer and sell, what was it, timeshare? Mm -hmm. And every time somebody sold a timeshare, they took a, a, a conch shell and they blew it real loud. Oh, did they? Yeah. We're good. Oh, yeah, we're good. Yep, yep. Yep, there goes another oh, this one. Oh, keys to get inside? Man, we don't have any steps, Amanda. Now, this does not come with the house. These little bricks, the homeowner got them, put them mm -hmm. on here while we were building it. I think it looks nice. But that's stuff you can do later on. You can sure. always add that stuff to mm -hmm. it. Now, up here in our model, it'll have cedar shakes up in the gable right there. Cedar shakes. Yeah, instead of that look right there. Yep. Okay. Man, he did a good job. I'm gonna do a little bit different on the rafters and stuff and the faux rafters and how I wanna do it, but this was a, a good start for this model home. Oh yeah. For We're actually sure. building another one right now. Oh, she got it open, Amanda. Okay. Well maybe if we bring the golf cart over I can get in. Hey, let me do that. Maybe for do you. that. Okay. Um if the door will open. This is cool. Oh well I can't wait to see it. I've not I've not been inside of it. Wow. All right, let me see if I can't get you a little bit closer there's the poo house that looks so yeah. great i'm gonna uh call and we're gonna do a a tour of that one of course there's mike's right there on the beach and look he did paint his concrete and i wanted everybody to paint their concrete pressure wash it and paint it i think it'd be beautiful don't you Boy, we really plan these out, don't we? I know. I'm going to get on the, that back right okay, there. Okay, that'll be fine. I think you can do that. Yeah. Will that miss the door? Oh, yeah, you can help me up there. Well, this is exciting. This is very storybook-like. Hey, Let's see here. All right, you can step here. Grab here, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Go up. Go up. Go up. Okay. How's that? Okay. Let me grab my arm. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, it's got that wood smell. We've not smelled that in a while. Everybody's been doing uh, ES, uh, the ESP panels and um, everything. So, wow. Look at the wood. Uh, mm hmm. So, this is the design of this cottage, which gives it the living room. Yeah the kitchen, one big room, and of course, we only use it like one wall, and that's for the yeah. bathroom separation. But oh, wow, I look at the this. door, that's beautiful. Yeah. A lot of light, love that. This is my favorite over a kitchen. Yeah. I think I wanna see everything when I'm in the I kitchen. Know, that looks cool. Yeah. 
Let me go up here and show just from here. Wow. Man. So this is a 4040 window. So it's four foot yes. by four foot window. Mm -hmm. Yep. And On that. both sides. Yeah. The uh, This has changed around. This is a little bit of the floor plan. It's a little different, you know, but it'll still have the side entry. They'll still have the bathroom in the back. Mm -hmm. And the kitchen is a little bit, it's a little bit different, but man, it looks great. Wow. Yeah. This is the first Abington model-ish. So yeah. it's really, not, it's very modified. It is. And yes. this is good. We're, we've got a farm style sink that goes here, mm -hmm. but it's a, a white porcelain looking farm okay. style mm -hmm. instead of the stainless. Yeah. And um, I think she, I think we're getting these like, I can't, I can't, isn't that something? We got so many models There's so much going, going on. on. Yeah. And I'm, I'm kind of tweaking them and creating them a little bit because mm -hmm. as we, I, I met with Zach this morning talking about this and what we were, the light fixtures we wanted to put in okay. you know, and different mm -hmm. things like that. But when you buy a model from us, what my whole intention, this is a cottage. That's why we used all the wood. Yes. And I think this fits the, the cottage style. Yes. And actually, Amanda, now she did it with a sliding glass door there. Mm -hmm. Ours don't have that, right? Right. So in this, in this type of living, it is all on one floor. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is your bedroom and living room. This is everything. Right. I like the whole idea, like when you said you went to your relatives, mm -hmm. they had a, a bedroom, mm -hmm. use our bed mm -hmm. in the living room. Almost. In the living room, that like you sat here and the bed was just out in the open, made yeah. up, real nice and pretty. My grandma was the same way. Mm -hmm. A lot it, of people used to do that. It worked perfect. This is a big enough space that you can have, that this mm -hmm. wasn't here, of course. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, now, you can't put anything in front of this door. So is that open or is that all? That's all storage, I'm sure. That's going to be I'm ceiling sure. across there with storage, right? And so the one in the Abington we're doing, the next one, is we're going to cantilever this over okay. a little bit to put lights here. Okay. And of course, you got a sink light, which is a wall-mounted light. Mm -hmm. We've also increased the height of the walls. Okay. We did that because we want our fascias to be bigger on the outside mm -hmm. and some faux rafters. Okay. It also gives us some space to put the light fixture up here. Oh. It squats our roof line a little bit less, mm -hmm. which I like. The cottage to me, I wanted it to be a little bit, I want all of our models to look, I don't know, beefy and lower to the ground. Right. So when we lowered our pitch of our roof and we heightened our walls, mm -hmm. you still have that, that volume in here. But I don't know. I've just it's just my idea of coming up with these new models that I want oh, to Oh yeah, show, for you know? sure. Well let's look in the bathroom. Refrigerator here, of course. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then this bathroom's a little different than the design. She has a full counter mm -hmm. with the sink and then they got a tub in here. Okay. Now our I like model, the, I like this lot fixture. Yeah. That's pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll you know what? I'm sorry, she's got this vaulted, so you know, again. Oh, okay. This is not what we'll have on a model type. Um, we'll have a ceiling over the bathroom, and the bathroom okay. actually goes across here, has a shower, closet, okay, and um, the toilet and everything. She's got a big tub. So she changed it out. She put a tub in it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Lots of storage, lots of floor room. Here's yeah. the bathroom, or the toilet. Yeah, let me get out of your way there. Yep. You know, you want to, you look at this, and you're like, to do custom homes mm -hmm. is just, it's fun to do different, but this is a bay window that kicked that out. Oh, okay. And, or a bay out on the tongue, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, it's just a lot of time and money to do that. It know? is. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's got a lot of space, so that's right. great. I know it. Okay. It's funny how a, a butcher block can be used in a bathroom too. Oh yeah. You know, mm -hmm. especially with this decor. Oh yeah, for sure. Now well, something I I wanted to talk to Rob about it, yeah. but like if you take this um, uh, this countertop, okay, okay, yeah, you put pine cones, rosemary, green stuff, blah blah blah. Put all that on there, right? But you have to enclose it somehow. Then you pour that epoxy on it, and so you've got that on it. Then you take it and you sand it down. Sand it all down, like really a lot, like mm -hmm. maybe halfway. So you see it, then you take, um, what is it you put on top of it to make it shiny? Um, polyurethane. Polyurethane over top of it. And you'll have all those things in on the countertop. Oh, okay. I was gonna talk to, I just saw that on TikTok this weekend and I told Jason about it and stuff. And uh, 
He said, oh, hey, yeah, that's no problem to do. So you could really put anything, like if you wanted to dress these yeah. up yourself, yep. you can put anything on there and just, and make, and you can see that. And that's it would be protected. Idea. It'd be really pretty. Yes, that's a wonderful idea. Storybook-like, having the, the pine cones mm -hmm. and the things like that. It'd be pretty. Gosh. Wouldn't it? I think it'd be great. And you saying yeah. that makes me think about my next development over there on the mountain. Mm -hmm. How I wanted it to be the, the DIY kind yes. of thing. Yes. So in Buffalo Creek, I really want to put a facility over there that mm -hmm. people can come over there and learn to do that. Yeah. And experience people working together. That'd be great. You lived over there and say, hey, I want to do my countertops. People mm -hmm. get together, learn how to, they can do an example in the shop. Yeah. Figure out the materials. Have some of those uh, what, acetylene uh, torches and stuff where they burn, burn stuff. stuff. It looks really pretty. It's and it's almost, Yeah. A whole workshop. Yeah. Just think a whole you workshop. a couple hundred homes over there and people pitching in with ideas. And, yes. Oh. Well, I the think creativity, I think, would just be insane. And I think it would drive you to not just be... I mean, honestly, you're never done with your house, ever. No, like, you can look... It. You want to change, you change uh, emotionally, you change spiritually, you change in your life, you yeah. know? So you want to change with it. Your house, you want that to reflect what your changes yep. and stuff. That'd be fun. That'd be awesome. Wouldn't it? Yeah, I like to show people, hey, if you don't like your countertop anymore in a yeah. couple weeks, tear it out. It's Te nothing to take out. That's what I think people need to know because sometimes you get stuck with saying, you know what? You have to keep this. You have to stick with the same thing. Yeah. And you don't. No, oh, That's you what don't. I love about tiny homes. So. We've, we've done so many remodeling mm -hmm. so quick. We had a house that had a leak in it down here. Yeah. We tore the entire house out. Mm -hmm. I'm talking the floors, the kitchen cabinets, mm -hmm. all the appliances, the furniture, gutted it. Mm -hmm. Put new flooring down, dried it, put new flooring down, put everything back, put the kitchen back, the plumbing back, the water heaters back, put it all back. It was about four or five of us in six hours. That is true, yeah. It's, Done. I know, yep. You wanted this trim loose, you just pull it off. Yeah. And if you wanted to do something different, you can just pull it off, put something on. Well, tiny house, when you think of a tiny house, you need to think of a tiny um, remodel as well. Yeah. So don't think it's gonna be this massive remodel that you have to do. Yeah, it's just this room. It's just two boxes yeah. of flooring. It's just one, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like if you wanted to do, like some people wanna do granite, some people wanna do quartz. Yeah. It's just a little countertop. Sure. It ain't. It's going to be expensive, that's but there's remnants you can buy at exactly. these places. It's really cheap, and that's a luxurious thing. You ain't got the big, massive, you know, big house anymore. You got a little tiny that you can have some luxurious yeah. things. Yep, that's why on the Grove, mm -hmm. we've told everybody they got a year. Yeah. One year to get the outside of their house mm -hmm. painted. The end of skirted, 2023. Looking good. Everything. Yep. You got a year to get all that done. And it takes some time to get it and think up what you want to do. Now, I'm going to say I'm not a fan. 100%. I'm not a fan of sliding glass doors. But yeah. when I walked in and I could see a through, glass, yeah. I actually liked that. And I would do something to where, um, and I'm sure she will. She ain't even moved in yet. Yeah. But I would do something to where it maybe had the live edge over it, around it, or look more. I don't like, I guess what I don't like about it is the white. I don't like that line between it. It's a necessary evil. Um, so maybe I would paint the white or something to where it's not so industrial looking to yeah. me. Um, but I love seeing, you walk in and you see an out and you get to go outside to that great deck, the porch right there. Look at it. That's going to be really nice. And then she can put stuff up, you know, around it yeah. for privacy. I, I really, am, I love it. Hmm. Yeah. I guess you could still set furniture in front of this door that doesn't open and you could actually put yeah. furniture from here over. You could even put like a great big oversized chair that women, it, most women, I mean guys too, yeah. would like to get in an oversized chair and you like to get a book or just sit there with your phone and that would be cozy right there. Set your drink. I remember the school teacher, what was her name? Cheryl? Yep. Yeah. Cheryl, she, we did the, um, Oh my gosh, the window bed, right? seals, yeah. remember? Because she was only, she was really yeah. short. And Cheryl was a school teacher down in Texas and she wanted to sit in her chair and sit her coffee in and a certain place. And she had her bed over here. Yeah. And she had a little 16 little, footer. Yeah, really cute. She did in the workshop. Yeah. So, hey, Cheryl. Hey, girl. You know what I like is there's people know their budget. Yes, that's right. You know, I've talked to people said, well, I want solar. I said, well, do you need solar? Well, I'm going to have electricity. I said, well, you can't afford, you got to, you know, and they said, well, I want it. I know. 
I know. But you yeah. got to be able to afford it. But I want it. I know. Okay. So, but yeah, and, and she was cool because she came to the workshop. Yes. She busted her tail. She sure did. Learn it. She didn't know anything She's about got building. equity in it. Yes. And that's, of course, the go back to the Incredit Box is a sweat equity in that mm -hmm. sucker that you get a lot of value out of it. But let's this, step out on the porch too. I'm trying to think if you wanted to put a bed in here, you'd have to put it right here. Mm -hmm. You know what? Yeah. Then you could put your furniture over there. Yeah. But that's really the only place because you, you got a traffic area right here. Mm -hmm. So you can't put anything here except no. for maybe a sofa or a chair here, right? Yeah. Right. And maybe your TV over that way, maybe. Right. But, oh, and the ceiling out here is stucco. Isn't yeah, that cool? Yeah, let's go out there. I want to look at that. Let me put this stick out of here. Oh, my God. We used to put a stick in ours whenever we had one in the basement. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that look great? It's got and the that's why I like it stucco, man. It just gives yes. it a different feel out here you know what mix with the wood oh yeah yeah oh look at the um just the simple little pieces of wood the live edge wood yep behind those um Lights. lot fixtures man that looks great beautiful i can't wait to see what she does with it Ain't that soft? yeah that's pretty what do you think ace i think that's why I, oh here's our our corbel oh yeah that's really cool i think that's why i designed this Abingdon. Mm -hmm. This customer actually, you know, I've worked with her and kind of inspired me to do the Abingdon. After we did this, I thought, you know what, I want to make this a model. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just because it has, it, it goes back to the, the all the wood that we like to use. Mm -hmm. And it's, at least we've got one that we can make into a cottage. Oh, yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. And we've sold some other Abingtons, so we'll see how the, the, the ones that'll be the the true to, yeah. to model. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. great. All right. That yeah. it? Look at the sales lot up oh there. We've got to go through these houses and uh, there's people uh, to pick up their houses. And uh, I know Amber's uh, been contacting them, but we've got to, they're beautiful, but we got to get them gone. So all of our, mm -hmm. uh, we've got, I think 15 in credit boxes up here. We do. They're ready to be picked up. Wow. And I think we've got another, I didn't count them this morning, there's gotta be another 15 down on the lot. Yeah. And they're coming up here too, we're rearranging we're, all this stuff. Yeah. We're gonna get ready so people can just come and go, because we are getting loaded up. We are getting loaded see. up. Now, what what have you got plans for this area? Man. I know you've said two or three things, but. Well, I'm gonna put a, a hedge wall here so there's privacy. Mm -hmm. You know, if we ever do our lodge right here, I don't know what, I, you know, I've had some, I've had some different ideas now where all the sales lot I is. I know. This is probably going to be parking mm -hmm. for the lodge, you know, but. We'll now, see what comes about. Yeah, I got, I got some ideas. I actually had a, a different idea for the lodge area here. Yeah. Total, yeah. Really? Total okay. Thing. Good. But. All right. Well, yeah. good. I feel like we're in a lazy mood today. Oh, absolutely. Uh, just kind of blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's just neat seeing, you know, we're out of the office mm -hmm. and you get to see Mike, you get to see this yeah. and you're out of the, just the chaos, you know, mm -hmm. of the office and going and, you know, you got that agenda. Yeah. And then when you come here and you see a house that looks really nice in the wood, yeah. and it kind of almost calms you and makes you really thankful for you get to build these homes. I know. You know? If I could make a drink over there, for heaven's sake, we get sloshed. Yeah, we need our margaritas. Margarita. <laughs> The We're sun's ready out to kick back. I feel to like, do. yeah, all we need now is the ocean sound. Look at Ace. Oh, gosh. Look at there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Good boy. He's such a mess. What's that? If you ever put a water feature like Fountain out there, I'll be in it all day. Oh, there you go. He's laying in it. Yep. We, we need a lazy get... river over here. <laughs> we got to get us a water feature. That's right. All right. Well, we're excited. Thank you. Um, hey, before we go. Yes. Let me see. I don't know how many people are still listening, but I want to let you know, I know the video you did last night. Yeah. Oh, look here. You are staying out there, big boy. Look um, at him. I always want to say it. Every video, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Comment it, if you will. But also, at, at the end of October, October 31st, we are going to do our, that's the end of our special for our solar and off-grid home. So it's $25,000 for a solar. Off-grid is $30,000. That's completely off-grid, okay? Everything. That's your tankless water heater, 35-gallon tank underneath the house, right? 
You've got um, um, got a solar the solar five thousand dollars solar unit on it. It's also got a compost toilet. It's got a water catchment system with a hundred gallon tank, fresh water on the front of it, a filtration system. The next thing I'm looking into on that is we may do a re, I don't know, I don't know how you would describe that, but it filters your gray water. Okay. Recycles? It recycles the gray okay. water. Now, if we can do that, and I'm looking into this, I think I've got two vendors that we can add that to. Okay. If we do that, everybody, your gray water will never come out on the ground. It recycles back into your That's fresh water. That's amazing. And you can do it several, I heard about five or six different times mm -hmm. before you have to kind of dump it or revive it and give you some new fresh water. Okay. But you can actually reuse your gray water. And there's two systems I'm looking into. You guys may already know all this stuff. I'm researching and finding out. We used to have a system we built. I've kind of come up with one about five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was labor intensive. It worked, but it was a lot of labor involved mm -hmm. in it. But now they've got them where it's, you know, these big engineers have figured things out. And of course, yeah, they must have been seeing our videos. You know? I bet they watched your video. That's I've been what wanting it was. to do this for years. That was my first off-grid community idea mm -hmm. but we needed to recycle the gray water yeah. because they don't allow you to put gray water on the ground right think about it and that's most everywhere isn't it that's not I just heard, Tennessee a lot. you know Alabama I heard you can put gray water on the ground really I heard some states out west but think about this if you recycle your gray water mm -hmm. right and let's say you want some fresh water now that when you recycle it it's potable you can put it on plants and mm -hmm. shrubs and your even your vegetables and get some fresh water it's so you amazing haven't discharged thing. any nasty water on the ground mm -hmm. so i'm that far from adding that gray water system to a house mm. amanda it's 100 percent recyclable i mean wow. you can pull a house out and we can start communities that are completely 100 percent self-sustaining yeah self-sustaining i don't have to put any infrastructure you're talking about putting communities across the United States overnight. Yeah. Just like that. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So this is big news. It is big news. And we put it at the end of the video. <laughs> That's okay. But we are making this offer for $30,000 for an off-grid home. Mm -hmm. This filtration system that if you think you need it, if you're not in an area that has gray water's, you know, discharge laws, then you're going to need this. But stay tuned to this i really encourage you this i'm doing a limited time offer because if you just let it go people will it's human nature i guess to just put it off put it off put it off right and we're not making any profit off of this all right so we're we're just selling it because i want to try to promote our incredible boxes mm -hmm. i love our incredible boxes i know they're they're not like this they don't look like this they're not made to because the price is so inexpensive, mm -hmm. but you can add the wood to the home. You can add anything to the Incredibox. Anything. Anything. Yeah, you can do what you were talking about mm -hmm. on your countertop. Yep. And uh, so two big things we got going on is our off-grid homes. The Incredibox is three, the off-grids, the Incredibox itself, and the next development on the mountain. So you guys gotta stay tuned. We'll probably have that first of next week we're going to debut Ooh. our mountain project. Now, wow. that's going to go into 2023. Yeah. As you guys know, I'm always looking to the future. I have to to keep this thing alive. we got some really cool marketing coming out. we got some just some new designs that we're going to put over there on the mountain. It's a whole different world that we're going to do. Mm -hmm. And this part of the mountain is totally, almost physically separated yeah. by a mountain from the other part it's of the gonna mountain be development. Total, it's going to be separate. Yeah, it's total different decor, looking. It'll be a different deal. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We always do stuff that are a little bit different than everybody else. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you want to come and see us, go to our website, set up mm -hmm. an appointment. Yep. Come down. I answered the phones yesterday. We had a, uh, Tyler was out sick, so I answered a bunch of phones, uh, phone calls from people calling in. Just a word to you. If whatever I said to you and promised you, I know I had a guy that I needed to take pictures of a house over here and send it to you. I got messed up and I got two my notes and all that stuff. So please, I would go ahead and email anything that we talked about. Email that in also so I don't forget and you guys don't forget. I wasn't all that organized yesterday because I was just grabbing phones. <laughs> it was really the, quick. Yeah. The business. So, okay. So I just want to let you know, please do that. Please send your emails in. And again, people texting me. 
Uh, don't text me anything about your homes or anything about business or anything because I get so many and it's hard for me to, to be doing all this and then to record them all and to get them to the different people that Something's need to go gonna to. Something's going to get missed. So yeah. the best way is info at IncredibleTinyHomes.com so yeah. the office knows. There's a lot of eyes that see that email so we want to make sure that we get whatever it is you need yeah. to you as soon as possible. We got a lot of eyes on the email yeah. and give us a call. Um, during our working hours, I think the calls are cut off at about four o'clock. They cut off at four, nine Leave to four. Leave us a message. We'll get to you the next morning. Mm -hmm. You know, we used to work around the clock and answer phones all the time, but we've learned that if we keep doing that, we're not going to make it for the long haul. Well, there's no you know? business that does that. Yeah. So, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Feel like we're in a somber mood. <laughs> all all right. right. See you guys. Bye.